Welcome to this Catholic Mass on August 11, 2024, the 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time. The celebrant for this Mass is Father Joseph Steele, Chaplain of Madonna Rehabilitation Hospital. This Mass is sponsored by the Diocese of Lincoln. Thank you very much for joining us today, and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brethren, to prepare ourselves to receive Jesus, let us call to mind our sins, ask God to forgive us, may worthy receive him. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, to God in the highest, and on earth peace of people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, Almighty ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then, strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. Then the afflicted man called out and the Lord heard. And from all his distress, he saved him. 
Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste, Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed on the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you along with malice and be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. And they said, Isn't this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. As it is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that Anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the living bread. I, I, I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. That is, this is, this is the bread that comes down from heaven so that no one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So just a reminder that, you know, we, and we've been in the chapter 6 of John's Gospel for for, for many weeks. And uh, in this chapter, it's, it's important for us Catholics because it teaches us of this cent the central mystery of, of, of Catholic life, and that is the Holy Eucharist. And so Jesus uh, tells the people that he came down from heaven, that he is the bread of life. The people did not believe him. They see him just as another man, you know, the son of Mary and, and the son of Joseph. And so they, 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 they saw him heal and multiply loaves and fish. They, did, they, did, they, did, they do recognize him as a special man, maybe a prophet. Uh, but, you know, we know Jesus is, is perfect God and perfect man. And so today... He asked the people in today's gospel to have faith. And he's asking us to have faith as well. So he's, he's asking us to have faith in him, that, 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 that he really is the one who came down from heaven. 
you know, to have, you know, faith that, that, that if, if we eat his bread, the, the, the bread that he gives us, that we will live forever. You know, faith that the bread that he gives is, is really and truly his flesh that he gives us and his life for the world. So, so let us especially ask today for a greater faith today. And so Jesus says, I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. What an amazing and beautiful promise that Jesus is, is, is uh, making here. Uh, he bring, we read in the first reading of Elijah how he was on a journey for 40 uh, days and, uh, and he was exhausted and then God would provide bread for him so he can get to that journey. And that's like a, an analogy of our life, our, ourselves. Jesus gives us daily bread so that we ourselves can make, fulfill our journey of getting to heaven in this life, in this difficult life. As, as, and, and that's what we're called, to, you know, and that's what he does. He gives us that bread of life. And so this is why we go to church on Sunday to receive the bread of life uh, that Jesus promised us in today's gospel. And he can even give that to us daily if we want uh, to we can receive his, his, his bread, uh, this bread, which is his body and his blood daily. Uh, just as, as it, gave, it gives us, you know, food gives us strength in our daily duties. Uh, but this is the bread, the spiritual bread that gives us strength to fulfill our spiritual duties, uh, to fulfill our vocations. And, um, and I, just, I just find great strength in knowing that, that, that my God is so near to me and that I can receive him daily for strength. Uh, I can walk into any Catholic church and visit Jesus in the tabernacle. What, ama what amazing gift. And so today, let us ask God for the gift of faith in who Jesus says he is, and in the gift of himself in the Holy Eucharist. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. as a community of believers seeking to grow deeper in our faith, we bring our prayers and needs before our God. That the church may inspire the faithful to know and follow Christ through all who preach God's word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders may be gifted with strong faith and wisdom to guide the flock entrusted to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Lord. prayer. That those nations blessed with abundance of world's resources may share them generously with all who are in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Lord. prayer. That Jesus, the bread of life, may nourish our lives and transform our society from a culture of death into a culture of life that welcomes and reveres every person. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the young people of our parish called to the priesthood and religious life may, may say a generous yes to their vocation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who mourn the death of a loved one will find consolation 
knowing Jesus, the bread of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you love us without end and give us hope. Grant that we may ref reflect your love to one another faithfully and joyfully. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offering of your church, for in your mer mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the uh, mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up your Let us give thanks, O Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we are not only, we, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the, the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we um, hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with the, all the angels, we praise you as in joyful ce celebration we acclaim. created rightly give you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and the working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rise of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the, the, the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make, make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, and your compassionate or merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, he takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let, let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed we, save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Hello, my name is Bishop James Conley, the Catholic Bishop of the Diocese of Lincoln. As Catholics, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is the greatest and most powerful prayer we can offer because it is through the Mass that we celebrate the passion, death, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus. We are happy to make this broadcast available for those who are unable to come to Mass in person and also for those who are not Catholic but might be interested in our faith. If you would like more information about the Catholic faith, please use the information on the screen to contact us, or you may contact your local parish. Thank you for joining us today. May God bless you and your loved ones.